Can you train your hamstrings effectively without any weights? Stick around to find out. Hey, it's Oscar from GoPrimate here and in part 2 of the body weight for hamstring series we're gonna go through ring hamstring curls. So when it comes to the hamstrings they're responsible for knee flexion and hip extension. The ring hamstring curl is a knee flexion exercise so for this you're going to be needing one pair of gymnastic rings and somewhere to hang them and that is all you need to get started with this one. So what you're gonna do for this one is you're going to set up the rings fairly low, you're going to lay on your back, put one foot in each ring and then you're going to elevate your hips from the ground by locking those glutes and the next you're going to do is you're going to aim to pull your heels to your glutes. So try to pull your heels to your bum basically. Have a short squeeze at the top as usual and then lower yourself with control. So instead of collapsing down you control the movement of how slow you are lowering yourself. Now some shoes are very slippery and with those kind of shoes this is going to be very hard to perform because your feet are going to slip away from the rings when your legs are straight. So make sure you have shoes that aren't that slippery basically or do them with your bare feet or even perhaps with socks. So just make sure that your feet won't slip out of the rings and you'll be good to go. And what I love about ring hamstring curls is that it is actually a very demanding exercise for the hamstrings. You definitely don't have to worry about this exercise becoming too easy for you anytime soon. In fact, it might be too hard for most people, but no need to worry about that either because you can easily adjust the difficulty here by your body positioning. So if you want to make it easier, what you need to do is to go forward towards the rings. So you're going to be more underneath the attachment point of the rings and vice versa. If you want to make it harder, what you do is you do the opposite. So you take a few steps backwards, so you're going to be further away from the attachment point of the rings. Now even a small adjustment is going to make it a lot more difficult. Now there's one more thing you can do if you're really struggling with this, even though you already moved a little bit forward to make it easier. And then the next thing you can do to make this even easier is to simply keep your hips bent the whole time. So in the you know proper version you have the hips straight, but if you're not there at the moment that's okay, you can keep the hips bent but still keep the hips in the air the whole time. So during no point at each of these exercises will the hips ever touch the ground. So this is a great exercise to actually build mass on your hamstrings, body weight or not, just in general it's a great hamstring mass builder. So you're in luck if you're looking for a hamstring exercise, body weight only, well the ring hamstring curl is going to be a great option for you. Now if you want to see more detailed breakdowns of the rest of the body weight hamstring exercises then please feel free to continue on with this series. Hope you found this video helpful and if you did please go ahead and leave this video a like, it's highly appreciated and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to build a warrior body with primal training.